guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is Lucy at Western Rod Deserves Better, which is a fact. This is a similar video to a video I made a while back called Evil Ed Deserves Better, and it's the same kind of premise, but with a different character. If you guys would like to see this as a series of vampire characters that deserve better, I can definitely do that. But this came to mind as I watched a Dracula movie the other day, and I was just like, Lucy deserves better. So I thought, hey, let me rant about why I think Lucy deserves better. Now, anyone who doesn't know, Dracula, very well-known book written in 1897 by Bram Stoker. There are many sequels and prequels and <laughs> offshoots of this book made by other people. There are movies, astoundingly, um, astounding amount of movies. There are TV shows, there are music videos, there are poems, this, that, whatever. There's a lot of Dracula out there. The basic story is that Dracula buys a property in Whitby and starts feeding on Lucy Westenra, slowly killing her. Now, Dr. Van Helsing tries to save her and her, you know, lovers. I mean, she they both gave marriage proposals. You know, they, they like her. She's a very popular woman. And they give her blood transfusions and they try to save her, but in the end, they don't, and she becomes a vampire. Now, she's a vampire, depending on the movie, the book, or whatever. She doesn't stay a vampire very long. She likes, in the book, she feeds on children. In a lot of the movies, she just feeds on whoever is there. And they stake her, cut her head off. Now, why I believe Lucy deserves better is because Lucy always dies very early on. Now, if you're basing it off the book, that makes sense. Because in the Dracula book, that's how it works. Dracula feeds on Lucy continuously, and after they fail to save her, she dies, comes back as a vampire, kills some kids, they follow her, they kill her. Then he starts going after Mina, and, you know, the whole story goes as it goes. So it makes sense that she would die early on. But, you know, like, maybe let Lucy live. I, I don't know. <laughs> and I think what would be awesome is if they let Lucy live. Whether it was because they failed failed to kill her, or she got away, or something. Because, like Evil Ed, similarly, she always dies. Now, with Ed, that's just rude. With Dracula, that's written in the book. So her getting killed off, if you're basing your movie or anything off of Dracula, and you're doing exactly what the book says, then yeah, she's gonna die early on. That's just how it works. But I think it'd be interesting to have Lucy be alive, or be the main antagonist. I think it'd be f cool. I watched this movie the other day, which was low budget, but it started with Lucy being attacked. It didn't go through the beginning of Jonathan and all of that. Uh, it started with her being attacked, slowly turning into a vampire, and, uh, you know, it based on all of her experience, and it ends with her becoming a vampire, and I believe Arthur, like, bringing her someone to to eat. She, he's like, I can help you. It's like, no, you can't. And then she does die. In the very end, she does die, sadly. It was a lot more interesting, and you got to see more of Lucy, because usually you don't see much of her unless, you know, she's slowly dying. Uh, so it was a, quite an interesting take on the story. I'd love to see more with Lucy, just to get more into her character, because normally she's blonde, and she's kind of dumb, usually stereotypical dumb blonde popular girl who gets the men, but, you know, breaks their hearts. Yeah, that's her stereotype, basically. And I think it'd be very interesting if she just stayed a vampire or she became, and she fought against Dracula and, like, killed him or something. Like, just, like, an interesting offshoot of the original Dracula story. Just to give Lucy some more screen time and more character development because she doesn't really have that. Mina gets a little bit of that. Not as much as she could, but she does get some. And Lucy usually just, <sighs> it's like, come on, let Lucy live. It's kind of how I feel about Dracula movies in general. In every, well, not every, in most Dracula movies, Dracula kicks the bucket. Every time. If you watch the Hammer film Draculas, he dies at the end of every single one of them. And then gets resurrected, which is amazing. Because, you know, most vampires, they get staked or head cut off or whatever, and they're dead forever. But no, Dracula can just come back whenever he so feels like it. Drowned in ice, staked by a giant cross, struck by lightning. You know, there's so many things <laughs> that have killed Dracula, especially in the Hammer films. But he always comes back. 
So Dracula dies a lot in these films, and Lucy is exactly the same. She always dies. So I think it would be interesting to have Dracula and Lucy, or just Lucy, live long and not get murdered. But of course, back in the day, vampires were evil. They were corrupt. They were the darkness. So of course, the humans had to win. That's just how it worked. They had to win and beat the evil. But I think it would be fun to have the vampires win. Just saying. Now, maybe there is a Dracula movie out there where the vampires win, and I just haven't seen it yet. I have seen way too many Dracula movies and TV shows and things involved with Dracula. It's kind of insane. I own multiple versions of the original book. <laughs> I refuse to watch Nosferatu because of how much I love Dracula. You can watch that video as to why I hate Nosferatu. I have seen it. I just refuse to watch it again. And it's like, Lucy deserves better in my opinion. <laughs> make her live longer. Make her more heroic. Make her fight against Dracula and win. Or if she does turn into a vampire, maybe she becomes a, a good person and, and kills Dracula and gets saved. Or maybe she stays a vampire but does her best not to feed on humans. Or You know, there's so many different ways you could go about this story that I think would be really interesting to try it out in a movie, TV show, aspect. They always, when they do Dracula, they always, most of the time, base it directly off the book and do exactly as the book says. Or maybe they add a little little changes here and there, but it's, it's basically the same thing. I think it would be interesting to try and take that book and add your own flourish to it and make, and make it interesting. Now, of course, you know, I think I would love to see that. I don't know if other people would like to see that, but I think I'd love to see Lucy, you know, grow into herself more, do more. You know, whatever that means, just have her not be murdered right away. Just saying. Maybe where the vampires win. I'd love to see a Dracula movie where the vampires win. Van Helsing gets murked. Dracula's alive. You know, these are all things I'd like to see. You know, so I, I don't know. I think it'd be really interesting. So comment down below what you guys think. Do you think that Lucy deserves better? Because I think she does. She does. And if you have any specific reasons that I may not have missed as why she deserves better or what you'd like to see with that character, comment down below. I'd love to see it. All right, guys. I will see you Thursday with another True Crime Thursday and Monday with whatever I decide to post. All right. I'll see you later. Whew.